Hi guys, Danny here. Now, I got some questions from some of my viewers asking about some of the aspects from ReactorCraft. So I decided to make a short video covering some of the handy tips and tricks. And I'm just going to be going over it now. Okay, what I have in front of me are two sets of turbines. As you can see, set of turbine there with a dynamometer and set of turbines there with a dynamometer there. Now someone asked me if you can have two turbines stacked like this with steam from one going on to the other because in my video I just had the condenser that condensed the steam directly into water after leaving the first turbine. And the answer is yes you can. Okay if I just put some steam there I just have some steam blocks like so. Just give it a seconder. There you go. It's making power. And over there, it's making power as well. And because the steam doesn't lose power, as in the steam block doesn't change after touching the turbine, uh, it can go from one onto the other and produce the full amount of power. There are a few things that you have to take into consideration. For example, if I put steam here, you can see that the steam is actually being distributed unevenly as in some escape from just in front of the dynamometer, some go behind the dynamometer, like that basically. I have no control over which side it goes from. So the best, I, as you can see there, some went to the second turbine, some didn't. So if I just destroy this dynamometer now and put steam just like that, now it should all go evenly to that one. The trick is, if the steam goes from the bottom there, it travels just underneath the turbine and escapes from here. So if you angle it correctly, as in if you position this just in line with that one, like so, the steam that escapes from the bottom turbine actually reaches the one over there, like so. Now, you can use this trick to, you know, create a lot of uh, sets of turbines. One there, one there, and then one here, and so on and so on and so on. So yeah, you could use this team indefinitely until, you know, you run out of, uh, you run out of space, I guess, or run out of steel. Because everybody knows, you know, if you played with uh, rotary craft, that steel doesn't last at all. As in, you use it for pretty much all of the machines, so you use it up really quickly. Okay, that's number one. Number two is just a small tip. If you have uh, rotary craft or reactor craft, you know, this set of mods, along with uh, thumb craft, you're going to have a clash. Uh, basically, the radiation poisoning from this mod has the same ID as the flux taint, uh, the flux poisoning from thumb craft. So if you have both of the mods installed and, you know, uh, you find yourself getting flux poisoned because of the neutrons from escaping, uh, uh, you know, these guys, what are they called? The fuel course. It's because of that little uh, conflict. And the worst thing about that is if there are mobs around and they get hit by the neutrons, they get turned into uh, their taint version. You know, their purple, creepy looking things. So yeah, that's the second thing to keep in mind. Third thing is the nuclear waste. Now because of the way this mod is uh, designed, uh, there are no protective clothing. So you're going to have to do everything by hand. Basically, after the fuel cores run out of... Uh, let me see... You know, after the fuel core stops... Uh, after the fuel core completely breaks down the uranium, uh, you're going to get nuclear waste. You will get the depleted uranium, but you might also get one of these guys. And that's not necessarily a good thing. Because what happens is, okay, if I have nuclear waste in my hand, and I go into survival, I get poison, nausea, and radiation sickness. So it's best to, you know, get rid of it as quickly as possible. And to get rid of the poisoning, what you do, oh creeper! As you can see, all mobs get poisoned as well, so that 
Creeper over there also has the poison. Okay, move to creative. This guy will still explode on me, won't he? That's fine. And if I just drink some milk, I should be fine. The milk gets rid of all the poisons. But if I go into survival again and get hit by one of these guys, just wait for a neutron to come my way. And now I wait. Come on. There you go. And I got hit by the uh, neutrons and I got poisoned for only a short period of time. Like I said, you can stop that by using the concrete. Couple of flow, uh, couple of lines of concrete. Mm, two blocks will stop it 95%. Uh, if you have three blocks, it will stop it completely. And yeah, that is the thing about the ne neutrons. However, watch this. I still got poisoned. That is because, let me go to creative, break that block. Inside of this uh, disposal drum, I have no, uh, you know, the waste. Let's, let's make it rid of the poison. But if I jump on it, like so. Oh, okay, well that's handy. But basically, there is a chance that if you have a lot of radioactive waste, there is a chance that you will create a, a, what is it called? A radiation leakage. And if that does happen, simply being around the waste drum will cause poisoning. Now, this isn't supposed to cause poisoning. If I go here, take out this, get something else, put it in there, and drink milk, like so. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah. Be careful while approaching the drum. Another thing about it is, it's not it's not just the drum that's now poison that's now uh, radioactive. If I put that down there, walk a bit further away. Oh god, I'm out of milk. Worst thing ever. Always have some milk, even if you're in uh, creative, because otherwise you can't get rid of it. Now, even if I approach it, you know, while it's not... Okay, yeah. You get the point. As in, even if it's on the ground, even if it's in item form, you will still get radiation poisoning, so be very careful. Always keep it stored somewhere. And store it somewhere where, you know, you don't have to approach it regularly. Otherwise, you can get poisoned. And the poison is for 10 minutes, as you can see there. So that keeps refreshing the poison, that keeps refreshing the nausea. And you can't get rid of it unless you drink a lot of milk. That, okay, didn't respawn. So yeah, that's what you have to do. And my last hint suggestion tip is what to do with the waste. Because at the moment, let's see, reactor craft, because you get a load of these depleted uraniums, there aren't a lot of things that you can do. I am going to be making a video about the breeder reactor and uh, it'll be coming soon as soon as uh, Reka finishes the you know the graphics for the electrolyzer I will create a re a video for the breeder reactor but before that you guys will just have to wait and what you can do with the depleted uranium before that is if I go into rotary craft the 128 kilogram railgun ammunition is actually created with a depleted uranium you get three out of that and if you create it that way you save three steel a couple of wood more wood wood stone 
stone, iron. Okay, it's not a lot, but you know, you're still using the depleted uranium that previously had no use. So that's good. So that's good. And that is it for this video. Uh, like I said, it was a very short video, but I hope it was informative. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like or subscribe for more Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, I'm getting poisoned again. There you go.